so how about G major? G major can be played several different ways, right? The easiest way to play it is you're gonna put your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, then your second finger on the sixth string, third fret, and then your third finger is gonna go on the first string, third fret. And you can strum all the strings, G major. Now you might see some folks do the same exact notes, but without their first finger. So what does that mean? I'm gonna play my second finger on the fifth string, second fret, and then my third finger is gonna go on the sixth string, third fret, and then my pinky, if you can, get it all the way down there to the first string, third fret. So some good uses for this because I can change from this chord to C or F pretty quickly if I keep it like this. If I do it the first way, well, I have to finagle a little bit to get it there. So there's still one more way to play G. You can play it with all four fingers. And how you do that is you use your first finger on the fifth string, second fret. Then you're gonna use your second finger on the sixth string, third fret. And then here, I'm gonna put my ring finger, my third finger on the second string, third fret. And then my pinky is gonna go all the way down to the first string, third fret. So I'm using all four fingers. That can be difficult at first. It's got a nice sound though. Here's a little bit of a difference, right? Here's the first way I showed you. And here's the second way. Right, both G, a little bit different, but the easiest way is the first way I showed you. G.